Exactly. Thanks very much, uh, Jody, and good morning to everyone out in Surrey. That's where we are today. Coming up next, we are going to introduce you to Magnum and Shorty, who are both looking for a home. Hopefully, together, we'll introduce you to these friendly dogs coming up in just a few. Yeah, you know, uh, Valentine's Day is all about falling in love. And I tell you, if you are looking for a couple of pit bulls, these might be the ones you fall in love with. Kim, good morning. Of course, we're out here in Surrey this morning. Thanks for having us here at this beautiful facility. We're so excited to have you here and have an opportunity to feature some of our really great animals looking for a home. Who do we have? This is Magnum and uh, Magnum's sister wife, Shorty. So they are our brother <laughs> and sister, literally. And they did come from the same home. They're uh, 18 month old male and female uh, pit bulls. Um, sadly, you can see that they've had their ears cropped. So it's very hard. They look like they've got, they look a bit like seals really without those ears, but they're lovely dogs. They're social with other dogs. They don't particularly like small animals or cats. Um, so we are looking for a home that would be free of that. Very social with people. Um, there are terriers, so they do get pretty excited and aroused and uh, can be quick to sort of woohoo, and then they need someone who can understand that and help them sort of settle back down and be calm. Now, of course, for anyone that's looking for these specific dogs, um, yes. pit bulls might be a bit intimidating for people, and especially two of them. What do they need to know about pit bulls in general? You know, they really are super affectionate, super loving, so connected to their people. Um, in the case of Magnum and Shorty, Magnum is a lot more dependent on Shorty than Shorty is on Magnum. He says, oh, the camera. I said, look, camera shy. <laughs> Shorty, not camera shy at all. And I think that probably applies to a lot of male-female relationships, doesn't it? You're the boss. You're the boss lady, and you're the sort of follower. Oh, but they look is, like they would just be a joy to open. Yeah. They found the treats. They found the treats. That's the girl. The boy is busy giving kisses, and the girl is busy. The girl is busy sneaking food. Well, if you want to adopt Magnum and Shorty, hopefully together. I know someone out there has a lot of space and would love yes. to add them to our household, Jody. People go to Surrey.ca backslash animals. Backslash animals. We are going to introduce you to bunnies coming up just after seven o'clock. But not Magnum and Shorty. <laughs> no. Yeah. Resource center. Yeah, thanks very much, Jody. where we are going to introduce you to a ton of bunnies coming up next. And Clay's are looking to add one to your home as part of your family. Stay with us. You're watching BT live from Surrey. But you get a lot of bunnies here, that's for sure, uh, Kim. And it can be a problem for people that sort of think, oh, what a great idea. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, not only do we have a lot of adult rabbits available for adoption, sometimes when we have adult rabbits come in, they are, in fact, pregnant and make us more rabbits. So something that's really important for people to think about when they're um, interested in adding a rabbit to their family, whether they're acquiring it from a friend or a pet store, they really need to be spayed or neutered. Uh, there are plenty of rabbits available in the community. We don't need to make more to sort of uh, increase the sort of uh, number of available animals. These adult rabbits are going to have a much harder time finding a home when they're competing with seven gorgeous, adorable baby bunnies. No kidding. Now, there's a reason we're down low. Yes, absolutely. One of the things people need to realize is rabbits are not dogs, and they're not cats. They're rabbits. They are prey animals. So being picked up and reached over can be very intimidating for a rabbit. So when you're introducing yourself to a new bunny, one of the things you really want to do is get on their level, allow them to be on the ground with you, and allow them to approach you at their own speed. Um, mom here has... Uh, some of her baby girls. The boys have been separated because obviously we don't want any more babies. <laughs> but one of the things you can see about the body language in these rabbits is this little female rabbit is laying. Nelson, we'll come over here because this, this one she's talking about right here. This little guy this here. Little, oh, there, okay. now we're kicking around there. The laying flat out. For a little while she had her back legs spread out behind her. Very comfortable in the environment. Comfortable with our approach. Sometimes when you see rabbits that are all very tight and tucked up, you know they're a little bit worried. So you want to, again, keep your voice calm and low. Move slowly around them and recognize if you want something that wants to be picked up and held and cuddled a lot, a bunny is probably not an ideal pet for you. If you're someone who likes a little more independent animal, um, sometimes cat people really can turn out to be fantastic rabbit people because they tend to like that independent personality. You know, they want an animal who comes to them for affection and then leaves them. Big time <laughs> commitment though with these Absolutely. types of animals. Absolutely. They have a long, they can have a very long and uh, healthy lifespan. Generally speaking, um, you have some of the larger rabbits, like the New Zealand Whites, will have you know a 10 to 12 year lifespan. Sometimes the smaller guys can have a little bit shorter lifespan, um, but they really are a very long term commitment. It's not a couple months, it's not a couple years, it's a long time. And Michelle, it is Adopt a Shelter Rabbit Month, which means yes. there is an incentive 50% off, but yes. still, Michelle, the very same criteria for adopting. It's a very strict criteria, obviously. For more details on the Surrey Animal Resource Center and how you can help these animals, you can go to their website. All right, Here sounds go. good. Look at those sleeping bunnies. And it's all about kittens coming up next on Breakfast Television. We're having our own little kitten Olympics right here. Stay with us. You're watching Breakfast Television. I know you want to get down there, don't you? There you go. <laughs>
Oh, it's all about the kittens, and I'm telling you what, Kim, they are keeping us entertained in here. This little guy, he's got quite the airtime. Amplitude. It's the, it's the Olympics, right? We're getting good amplitude on our uh, slope style. Tell us a little bit about all these little guys. Um, well, so these are kittens that came in. Um, the mom was a stray animal in Surrey, so someone found her uh, on their property in their backyard, and she was heavily pregnant. So she came into the shelter, and then quite literally the next day um, had five babies. So we have uh, four female kittens and one little boy, um, and they are now all just about uh, of age and size to be spayed or neutered. So their mom is already available for adoption, and these guys are, are available for adoption in very short order here. And uh, we'll be looking for great homes. Um, as you can see how active and busy they are, we really encourage people to look at uh, adopting two kittens at a time, unless they already have a young, um, happy, busy cat in the home, because <laughs> they really do, right? <laughs> Otherwise, that's your curtains uh, or your bed sheets or, you know, at five o'clock in the morning. So we want to make sure that these guys have lots to do and interacting with each other is a great way, um, you know, to be happy and successful in a household. Now, we, ha we make our way to the SPCA quite often in Vancouver. So how is the Surrey Animal Resource Centre different than the SPCA? So the Surrey Animal Resource Centre is the municipal shelter for the city of Surrey. So basically the animals that come into us, like these guys and their mom, are animals that are lost in the city of Surrey. We're very lucky in that uh, a lot of the animals do go home with their original owners, certainly more for the dogs than cats. Cats, unfortunately, uh, don't find their way home as often as dogs do, so that's why you'll often see a surplus of cats in our shelters. All right, well, there are lots of great little adoptables here, of course, looking for forever homes, so you really want to make sure that you ask the questions and find that pet that is just right for you. For more details on the Surrey Animal Resource Centre, uh, Jody, people can go to their website coming up on the screen throughout the morning, surrey.ca slash animals. Oh, aren't they just adorable? Nelson, I think, is going to be going home with a new, uh, a new little family member. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Makes you want cats. I cannot have two cats. I cannot have two cats on top of the two dogs. Stop. Surrey Animal Resource Centre. And Kim, this is a very special area for the animals. We have a fantastic opportunity here to have uh, play groups for our dogs that are social with each other, like these guys are, to have exercise and social time together. When adopters come, they can spend time with their potential adoptee in this field, getting a sense for who that dog is. And it's really nice just to see the dogs enjoying themselves being dogs. Now, very, very quickly, uh, we had a story of Prudence two, I guess two weeks before Christmas, came in very emaciated, was dropped off. We have a bit of an update. It's fantastic news. The veterinarian who, uh, who saw Prudence back then has given her the all clear for her spay surgery, which will happen next week and she'll be available for adoption shortly after that. And the pictures that we're showing our viewers right now shows that looking a lot better. Way better from a couple of days ago. We hope to see a little continued improvement with her hair coat, but she's ready to go. Excellent. So Jody, great news. That is a reason to celebrate. We're going to introduce you to some more animals here at the Surrey Animal Resource Centre coming up just before 9 o'clock. Thanks very much, Jody. And of course, we've been introducing you to some pets that need forever homes all morning long. Up next, we've got Maggie and we've got Marley and we will meet them. Stay with us. You're watching BT. We are having just a great time meeting so many beautiful animals here at the Surrey Animal Resource Centre. All of them need homes, people that want to add someone to their family on a permanent basis. And we've got a couple of very beautiful dogs here now, Kim. Maggie and Marley with us right now are fantastic little dogs. Maggie, who is uh, wearing the pink collar, <laughs> is a little girl pug mix. She's probably between three and four years of age, um, and she came to us and her owner just, um, you know, couldn't take her back, so she is now looking for another home. She's a lovely, laid-back, sweet with other dogs, sweet with people, easy, easy companion dog. Uh, Marley, who I've got here, is a little bit busier. He's a young sort of spaniel mix. He's barky and busy and full of him. Oh, and full of kisses. He says, "Talk nice about me, Kim. I will talk nice about you, sweet pea." And um, so he is also looking for a home, but probably a home that's going to be prepared to do a little bit more um, in the way of activities with him, keep him busy and. Uh, out of trouble. So we're not looking for them to necessarily be adopted together because they're both nope. very busy dogs. That's correct. And they, they came in separately, so they're not, um, they're friends here at the shelter, so they're dating a little <laughs> bit, but they're not married. Well, and why, who wouldn't want to date these right. ones when they're together? Look at, they're even dress alike, right? It's so awesome. Uh, again, so many great resources here. People, though, that maybe can't fit a, an animal into their home but are pet lovers, how can they help? Absolutely. One of the things that I ask people to do all the time is just talk about the fantastic animals you've seen today on the show or on our website because word of mouth is what's going to help Maggie and Marley and all of the other amazing animals find new homes. Um, and certainly if people want to donate supplies to the shelter, we can always use high quality food and, and other items like that. Wonderful. With more details on the Surrey Animal Resource Centre, Jody, people can go to the website surrey.ca slash animals. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. So cute. Bye, Marley. Bye, Maggie.